Hi everyone! This is the last day for these videos. I've only done three, but I hope you guys really like them and learn something. That's what's important, learning something. And today on the final day, I'm going to talk about being a good sport. So while showing livestock, being a good sport is really important. Having good sportsmanship will never be uncool or annoying. Ever. Having this will make you more pleasant to be around and it makes it more fun for everyone around you. While showing any animal, you can lose or win or both in some occasions. Losing and winning are not always important. It's fun to win, but having a good attitude no matter what place you got is what's important. If you win at showmanship, it feels great. You won and your hard work showed. But keep in mind that you shouldn't brag about it. But what about losing? No one likes to lose. But keep in mind that it's not just you that wants to win. It's usually everyone participating. Knowing this can change your mind about it. If you lose, don't become angry with anyone. If you did the best to your ability, you should be very proud no matter what place you received. Not only is this good for showing animals, it's great in sports, in school, and extra extracurricular activities. Being a member of a team or going solo, you have to keep in mind that good sportsmanship is important to have. Enjoying it will create much happier memories and experiences. At the state fair, I was showing my heifer and was doing really, really well, I thought. I was going to make top five for sure. That was not the case. I did not get top five. I was like eight, I think. I was actually really, really disappointed because I worked really hard that summer. But once I thought about it more, I did the best I could. If the judge did not like that, then... I don't know. Tough it. Next year, I thought I would work just as hard, and it turns out I got second place. So, having good sportsmanship and a good attitude will get you far. You don't need to tread on the past. Just look ahead. It will help, I know. And now, it is time for your challenge. You ready guys? If you're with a friend ever, pick a game with a friend and let them pick. While playing it, use words of encouragement. I know, I know, it's really hard. But listen to me. This challenge will make you think. If you win, do not become all cocky and obnoxious. Say something like, that was fun. Let's play again sometime. Don't be like, hey, hey, I'm the winner. You're the loser. Do not do that. Do not do that. But if you lose, do not get mad. I know. I get really, really, really competitive. And I become really mad if I lose, especially to my siblings. I need to get better about that. Congratulate the winner. Think before you say, congratulate the winner and say, it was a lot of fun to spend time with them. Just think. Say something nice. Then next game, you pick. See? Doesn't that sound more fun? I think it sounds more fun. It'll be much more beneficial, I promise you, and make the memories so much happier. Now. Go out and do that, and this is the last video, so no more. But, after this video, I want you guys to complete a survey for me. This survey will only take, like, two minutes. It will not take very long. I just want to see if you guys enjoyed this and what I should do better or what you really liked. So, now that we're done, see you guys. I might see you at the fair, at county fair, maybe next year, or you're in my club. I don't know, but bye guys, I hope you have a great rest of your summer.